Hi. So today we are going to build a simple to do's app using Rocket Graph. Rocket Graph uh, comes with uh, a Hasura GraphQL engine with the deployed Postgres database. And it also provides you complete authentication. So you typically don't have to write your own backend code since we already use uh, uh, GraphQL. Uh, and uh, Rocket Graph is language agnostic, so ideally you can use Vue.js or Backbone.js to build your front end. But for this example, we are just going to use uh, React.js to uh, build the app. Build the app. So let's head over to the Rocket Graph dashboard and uh, create a new project. New project sets up your server with the uh, mentioned uh, uh, database. So you you need to pay, but uh, for the first one month, it's free. So you don't have to provide your credit card information. And uh, since we already have this uh, project set up, we are just going to use this existing project to save time. So let's head over to the Hasura console. And uh, here uh, we, we have the users table already set up as you can see. And now we are going to create a to-do table as described in the documentation. So let's go ahead and create that with the column names as mentioned here. Uh, so to do's and then we need uh, we need an ID that's going to auto increment and then we need uh, to keep track of when it is created. And then we need to have a name column that is of type text. And let's keep it like nullable and is completed of type uh, boolean and for now nullable and let's add the uh, table next we are going to set permissions now the only way to access to do's is through an admin role which is not uh, the most optimal way to access your databases from from the uh, from the application so we are going to go ahead and create a public role. Without any checks and uh, toggle all and uh, save permission. And similarly for the select as well. Without any checks and toggle all save permission. So public role is used by users that are not logged in. Uh, so anybody can access the table, which is not uh, the uh, most optimal way. But as we move forward, we are going to discuss authentication as well. Now we are going to create React app uh, uh, as a, a to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now we already have a, a create react app uh, done. So we are just going to use that. And we need to do a yarn start. Uh, so we are going to have to install certain dependencies like Apollo GraphQL client, obviously for GraphQL and uh, react Apollo is a library provided by rocket graph that uh, gives some uh, extra uh, powers to your uh, front end. So uh, we are first going to copy this um, piece of code inside index.js. And here in this place, uh, we need to add the uh, GraphQL endpoint so that you can grab from here and uh, just add here. So as you can see, we already have an SSL uh, setup. So you can do some complex uh, uh, things like uh, subscriptions. And uh, we are going to uh, copy this piece of code and add it to app.js. It basically fetches all the to-dos. So you're doing a query that is uh, 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 sent through use query provided by the Apollo client as discussed, and we are going to show all the to-dos information here.
right? So now we need a way to insert the to-dos. Here we are just fetching the to-dos. So let's go ahead and add that code as well. So here we have just added an insert to do uh, insert to do uh, uh, mutation that adds uh, uh, that adds a to do to the uh, to the table. So okay, so let's go ahead and first do a yarn start to see. Right. So here we have uh, the to do's input ready. So now let's go ahead and uh, test that. Okay, great. So now if we refresh, it's going to show our own to do, which is great, but we can add a little improvement on top of that and we can get uh, the data in real time using subscriptions. So let's go ahead and add this piece of code here. Now, all we have changed is instead of doing a query, we are doing a subscription, uh, which gets the data in real time. So add to do, to do is created. And as you can see, it is being shown in real time. Now let's uh, discuss authentication. So everybody can select and insert to do's that is okay to start, but now we need to secure our API by adding authentication. Authentication is built into Rocket Graph and, and it is easy to get started. So you need to install Rocket Graph QL JS SDK, which is uh, the co which is, which handles the uh, authentication authentication for us. So now we need to configure and initialize a connection to Rocket Graph. So create a new folder called uh, utils and uh, create rockets.js inside it. So we have utils and we have rocket rockets.js. So here we need to replace this with the backend URL. And you can get your backend URL by going into the auth uh, tab and grab this and just paste it here. This is basically the uh, endpoint uh, to your authentication API. So now let's create a page for sign up where the users can uh, sign up. And for that, uh, we need to create uh, SRC components and this is your uh, sign up. Uh, and let's create a page for login as well. And this is going to go into your log, login.js. Now we need to uh, set extra permissions to uh, handle authentication on the Hasura tab. So let's set, let's first remove the uh, existing to do's. Okay. And let's also remove the public role that we have created. Okay. And then we are going to create Okay, so first we need to create another uh, column that keeps track of uh, whose uh, to do uh, is 
a particular uh, column. So for that, we need to create a foreign key that let's say name it as user underscore ID and column type is UUID because our user ID is uh, of this of this particular type and this is going to be unique and this is non-nullable. And now we need to add this as the foreign key. So as shown here, reference table is users and from column is going to be user ID to ID. And cascade, cascade and save. Great. So now we need to uh, add permission uh, for users role. So let's go to the permissions tab and create a user and then for insert permissions without any checks. And then for column insert permissions, let's say toggle all. And this is important. This is column presets. So we need to set the user ID from session variable, which like we discussed, uh, Rockets JS SDK provides this as a session variable and add it to our foreign, add it as our foreign key. And here it's going to be user ID. And save permissions. And similarly for select, we are going to make sure that the user is able to retrieve only those to do's that belong to him. So we are going to use a custom check. And here goes user ID. And here goes equal to Xasura user ID. And column select permissions, toggle all and save permissions. Great. Now the app is complete. We created uh, pages for sign up and login. We need to add routes uh, to these pages as well. So we are going to add them like something like this import from components and then add these components to their routes. So let's go ahead and test our app. So here we have the uh, sign up page and let's create a user. So here we have the same to do's uh, page and here let's add a to do. Okay. okay, so to do has been created and uh, let's create another. Okay. So to do has been created. So let's go ahead and uh, sign in as another user. So as you can see, I am unable to see the other users to do. And also in the users tab, we have two users created and uh, in the to do's we have these uh, save to do's as well. So if I have user two as to do, then I can only see, okay. Let's... Okay, so then I can only see the second users uh, to do here and I am unable to see the first users uh, to do. So 